Great as your scam, my name is Krusty, and welcome back to Vampire. I'm a doctor. I'm a vampire doctor. You might have guessed the name of the game is called Vampire. I'm a doctor who is also a vampire. As such, I got a balance being good and being a little bit naughty for the benefit of my vampires. It's an interesting game, and I'm quite enjoying it. Not a good place for a stroll. Did you hear me? There's one of the I am Vampire Kind and I am hungry. If I cannot feast on the blood of the innocent, I will feast on the blood of the guilty vampire hunters. Oh, are they guilty? They're just kind of doing their job. Be terrible, terrible vampire hunters if they weren't actually hunting vampires, I guess. But no. Yum yum! Yum yum, your neck is tasty. It's quite dirty, you should wash it sometime. Not that you can wash your neck anymore because you're dead. Come on, buddy. Take a swing. <laughs> Take a swing, come on. Oh, you can do a little bit better than that. You can do better than that. Come on. Let's try again. Let's do it again. Come on. Come on, get him. Come on. <laughs> I got the shield, you idiot. Ow. Ow. Bad man. Let this be a lesson to you. You vampire hunters walking around the streets with fire and guns trying to kill all vampires. Not all vampires are bad. Some vampires just want to get back to the hospital, their place of establishment and work, where they care for people. They want to heal people. Unless they don't like those people, then they might eat them. I'm the best kind of vampire. I'm good sometimes. And I'm quite handsome. Seriously, look how handsome he is. He's very handsome. Apart from the eyes, which are blood red and veins. But if, if you're into that, then pfft. What a turn on. Never fear! Everything's gonna be okay now, Dr. Vampire. Dr. Guy is here. He's gonna cure all your ills, if not by medicine, by song. Oh, you! You look quite glam, what's got you down? War injuries, am I right? You guessed right, Doctor. German shell took my pretty little mug right off. That's unfortunate. I said, what, what do you, what, you need sepsis? You want treatment for sepsis? Fortunately for you, sir, I have a treatment for sepsis right in these pockets on this long fancy looking coat. I'm gonna give you some of that. Don't think you can do much about it. Damage is done. Why are you so sad? I just gave you medicine, you should be instantly better. He's understandably upset. Possibly doesn't want to live anymore. I should help him. Live, I mean. I'm not going to kill him. Not yet. I'm just going to find out more about him and see if I can turn his little brain around, you know, make him smile or leave this place all really happy and stuff. Wander out of the hospital doors into the dead of the night where there are vampire scowls and vampire hunters with guns and fire and stuff walking around. Really, this hospital is the happiest place in the world right now. Why are you so... I'm going to kill you. Come with me, Thomas Elwood. Let us find a dark corner where no one will miss you. See all the moaners in the hospital, they bring us down. We're already starting to get a bad rap. Turns out some of the patients keep going missing. Why? Honestly, I have no idea. I bet you taste great. Like butter on a banana. That's... That probably doesn't taste very good. So this is how it ends. Farewell, my life. You betrayed me, good. He danced a little bit. He was so happy to die. You're welcome. You're welcome. As far as XP goes, that guy wasn't even worth it. He didn't really give me a lot of XP. Even after I healed him and his blood type, his blood level increased, he didn't really give me that much XP. Not really worth it, to be honest. You look like terribleness in, in, in walking form. Yeah, let's take a seat. I'm a doctor. Let's diagnose your problems. Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, Dr. Reed, if you must know, I'm a vampire. Are you really? I don't believe you. Seems like you've got a case of neuralgia. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like some kind of brain problem. Thinking you're a vampire. You're not a vampire. I'm a vampire. Shouldn't say that out loud. Thankfully, my voice isn't actually in the game, so I can say it. I'm a vampire! I can say
probably sh- still shouldn't say that out loud in case people actually, neighbours come around and st- stab me with a knife. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Have you ever heard of Cotard Syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules Cotard. The affected patients are delusional. They believe that they are putrefying, that they are dead, a, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. How dare you? I am actually immortal. I take offence. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. That poor woman. That poor woman thinks she's a vampire. There's no such thing as vampires. Obviously. Got a treat her of a neurological disorder. Obviously. As soon as possible. Post haste. Let's make some medicine at my little desk. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, you see, I haven't found the recipe yet. You see, so I can't cure her. Never mind. She's on her own then. She can suffer greatly. Do not entrust these people with your life. Murderers and thieves, a lot of them. <laughs> no idea what she's talking. Is it fever if you take stuff from the body after you've killed them? Because they don't—they're not there, so they don't own it. Is it fevery? Then, oh, vampire hunters. Okay, let's get into a little bit of a scrap. What? <gasps> oh, they're fighting a werewolf. I'll let them fight it out, and then I'll jump down. And destroy the victor. Wow, they eliminated the werewolf, huh? Those vampire hunters are not to be messed with. Let's go mess with them. I am King Vampire, ruler of the darkness. And this is just my beginning. F Ow. Got more vampire hunters, vampire hunting, vampires hunting, vampire hunters, vampire hunting. This is the vampire hunting song. Die! There's a lot of you. Okay, there's a lot of you here. I didn't, I didn't. I, no, you're hunting vampires as well. That's good, that's good. Hang on, let me heal. Yummy, 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 yummy. I'm so thirsty and hungry. I bite you through your jacket. Your jacket? Probably quite expensive and fancy, is it? Die, you! Embarrassing. You're an embarrassment. You're an embarrassment to all the vampire hunters. I don't respect any vampire hunters. I definitely don't respect you. I, I've minus respect that guy. I have minus, I have negative respect. There's more of them. There's, these streets are just littered with vampire hunters. And that's a result of my actions as a vampire getting greedy and eating people. Like that Thomas guy back at the hospital. I'm going to have to reap the, the consequences for that. It's one of them! <laughs> ow. 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 Let me. Ow. 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 How about this? I'm going to run away. <laughs> hey, you, you watching the bin? Or... I'll put you out of your misery though, how about that? You're quite a powerful skull. There's a lot of suffering in those bones. Fortunately not it. Jesus, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> that green stuff hurts, I don't want to be in there. Oh, there's another werewolf down there. You just killed that guy. Now he's eating him. Which is good, let's not let him go to waste, at least. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna fight that werewolf now, I might regret this decision. Come here, little furry beast! Let's, let's get you dead! You're not as strong as I thought you were going to be. Kind of a pushover, really. And you dropped a watery, sturdy blood sample, which is great! Can you... With your watery, sturdy blood sample, I can research it and maybe get, like, like new medicines and stuff. I'm going to be honest. I, I don't actually really have any idea where I'm going. Everywhere is hell. And, ah, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Where did you come from? I don't care. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! Another vampire! Another vampire! No, okay, okay, okay. You're smart, huh? Clearly not that smart. Otherwise, you would never pick a fight with me. Ow! Stop that! Oh God, there's another one. What if I just ran into a gang of fucking vampires here? I'm invisible now, means you can't see me, and I'm gonna run away. I can't believe I'm 
doing this? I know, it's quite horrible. It's quite horrible. But, I mean, we get our blood up, and with blood we can do, like, special abilities that defend ourselves. So, really, it's... Those rats died for a noble cause. Thank you, rats. I didn't think the robot was invented this early. Sir! 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 You need my assistance in order to do a good robot. Let's talk. Come on, Johnny. Don't you recognize your oldest friend? Clarence. Clarence Crossley. My God. So you survived the war too. Is everything all right at home? Surely Venus was relieved to see you return from France in one piece. Have you forgot what people are like in this part of town, Johnny? Venus fears for our family reputation. Now her husband has become the village idiot. Village idiot? Unlike you, I'm not the man I used to be. You're gonna have to hurry up and tell me what that means, because my mind, it begins to wander. Also, I'm not the man I used to be. Do I not look different? How do people not realize that I look different? My eyes are red. Uh, how, 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 how can you not tell I've got some... I work around doctors all the time. Has no one gone up to me and said, you know what? You might have a problem. The worst doctors in the world. Why have you distributed leaflets about vampires all across the West End? I have to warn everybody about them. They've killed thousands of people already. Vampires in London? Come on, Clarence. Who's going to believe that? I'm not mad, Jonathan. You have to believe me. They're all around us, even as we speak. Clarence, you need to shut up. I'm gonna try and find your wife now, okay? Might learn more about the guy. You need some rest, Clarence. You should try to sleep. Here, yeah, wifey, wifey, wifey. Here, yeah, wifey, she in here. No, she's not in there. Here, yeah, wifey, 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 wifey. Where can she possibly be? Who's that? Who's that? Are you wife? I don't think you're wife. You wanna talk? Let's talk. Where are the rats? Miss, you don't seem well at all. Are you afraid of rats? Has one bitten you? No, it's me who bites them. Tasty, juicy, disgusting rats. I can't stop eating them. Help me, please. Help me to disobey the voice. Lady, you've got problems. you got fatigue. You just need to sleep a little bit. Just sleep a little bit. That's all you need to do. Free me. Shut up and put this in your mouth. The answer hides in their little crunchy bones, their juicy, tiny brains, the voice in my head. He forces me to do so. Drink their blood, he said. Eat their flesh. Please, help. Here's your problem. I feel like you're a vampire, but not any normal vampire, like a, a, a giant rat vampire bit you, like just maybe just a rat, and you decided to get your own back. You've got fatigue. So you just think all the time that I need to get my own back on the rats. Now you sell, you know, you want to eat the rats. That's fine. You can eat. There's a lot of rats. You can, we need people to eat the rats. It'll take care of the rat problem. Pestilence. Suffering. Death. It was great meeting you. Thank you very much for your service of cleaning up the streets from rats and stuff. Culling the population. Also solving the hunger problem, even if it is just for one person. I've told you before, Clarence, your robot is terrible. It's very embarrassing. Stop doing it. Where is your wife? Tell me where is your wife. Hello? Is anyone there? Jonathan, is that you? May I come in? I was going to bed, actually. I'm sure you can spare me a few minutes. Of course you may enter, Jonathan. Clarence has changed a lot since he returned from the war, you know. I heard. I spoke with him. Believes in vampires of all the weirdest things. You're healthy as well, so you don't need my help. And you're level four of the mesmerize. So if this goes wrong, I might be able to bite you. Not in a sex sheet. It's not, not, not a sexy way. I would never. <laughs> it's another man's wife. I wasn't suggesting that I go to bed with her. I was just suggesting I'd eat her. I'm a gentleman, please. Tell me about Clarence's obsession with vampires. It drives me so crazy. It makes my stomach hurt. I'm tough, Jonathan. He should have told me the horrors he witnessed, however appalling it was, instead of inventing a fantasy about blood-drinking monsters. Hmm, fantasy, that's all it is. You have no idea what it was like to wait for months without knowing if I'd still be a wife. 
or a widow. I understand. Luckily, this part of town has been saved from the worst of the bombings. We, 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 we just, I, I shouldn't touch the whole widow thing, but you realise he was at war, right? I'm sure you're having a horrible time. I'm not disputing that, but the man was at war. <laughs> I would say he was also having a horrible time. You're making it a lot about yourself. I'm beginning to dislike you quite strongly. You have no idea how hard it's been for me. Well, this this eats you now, then. You think I wish to hear about your issues and your problems? Turning everything around and making it all about you. Look at this fancy stuff you have. This fancy necklace you have. More than one of you may have. More than one of it. Why do you need one? You have multiple. Multiple. One good thing about your existence. You look very clean. And I like a clean neck. <gasps> I danced with you at my wedding, Jonathan. What have you become? A vampire. They're real. Should have believed him, you idiot. Now that guy's gonna freak out because he's gonna see bite nets on his wife's neck. He's gonna freak. It's gonna mess with him so much. Am I a bad person? I feel like a bad person. But at the same time, I don't care that much though because I'm having a lot of fun. Now the only thing left to do, go to sleep, wake up to a new day, See what's happened. See how my little buddy Clarence is getting on. See if he's blown his brains out or something like that. Also, I got a lot of XP from killing that woman. Her blood was worth a lot. I can upgrade a lot of stuff now. I can be like extra super powerful in it. I mean, I can upgrade my health. Now I've only got one health upgrade to go. And then I've got maximum health. And I've still got 1635 XP. It means I can upgrade s my stamina. Which I'm also upgrading a lot, which means I can do a lot more damage a lot more quicker. So I can be extra, extra deadly. I'm doing really good. Right now, I'm very glad that I killed that woman. I do have to be careful, because like, if I do anything other crazy in this region, it, it says things are going to turn hostile. I need to be good from now on, alright? That was the last one, at least in this region, okay? i got to help people from now on. i got to cure their sickness. As a doctor, it's what i got to do. But first, let's go find my buddy Clarence, see how he's getting on. Hello? Anyone there? Leave me alone. Whatever you truly are, leave me. Clarence, it's me, Jonathan, your old friend. Remember? You only look like him, but you're dead inside. You, you, you're a walking devil searching for your next victim. Clarence, stop playing around and let me in. All right, I'll let you in. Venus has been murdered. What? A vampire, a vampire, killed my wife. I don't know what he means, she looks great to me. You're one of them, aren't you? You killed my Venus. You destroyed my life. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. I had a lot of fun doing it. My best friend killed my Venus and now forces me to answer him. It's true, isn't it? I'm not crazy. Yes, Clarence. I am a vampire. I knew it! I knew it! Why? Why did you kill her? We've known each other for years! We're friends, for God's sake! Step back! Don't come any closer! I can't. Your wife's corpse is in the way. I shall leave you now, Clarence. Going away into the night. It's a vampire doctor that I am. And on such an uplifting and positive note, I'm going to be ending the video. So if you liked it and you want to see more vampire in the future, then don't forget to drop a like. And I shall see each and every one of you in the next video. So, so long, farewell, goodbye.